Quan 2.5 Coda got released by Alibaba and it beats GPT-40. They released a series of models. It is 0.5 billion, 3 billion, 14 billion and 32 billion. That is diverse and it is powerful. It is an open source code model matching capabilities of GPT-40. Quan 2.5 Coda can be used as coding assistance and also for artifacts. Here you can see the comparison between 32 billion instruct and GPT-40. You can clearly see it's 92.1, 92.7, 86.8, 90.2, 84.4, That is super cool. An open source model beating a closed source model. That is huge. For multiple popular code generation benchmarks, it has competitive performance over GPT-40. It can help users fix errors in the code. This also has code reasoning. Here is a chain of thought reasoning process benchmark. You can see 32 billion parameter model is competing with GPT-40. It also supports multiple programming languages. And you can see the list here. In human preference alignment, again, this is in par with GPT-40. You can see the different model sizes which got released and the context length up to 3 billion parameter is 32,000 and after that, it's 128,000. Among the open source coding model, this is the best as of now. Now we can also use Quent2 Coder in Cursor. And you can see that we are able to create programs. Here is an artifacts example. So when the code got generated, it's able to automatically run on the right hand side to make it more interactive front end. That is super cool. I'm really impressed with this. We have the models available in Hugging Face. We also have the coder artifacts in Hugging Face. So in this, we'll be seeing about coding test, artifacts test, and finally, how you can install this locally on your computer completely for free. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. So first, coding test. First, Python medium level challenge, virtual DAC, asking the large language model to create a function to convert from digital to analog. And I'm providing the description from here. And I'm using 2.5 code 32 b from Hugging Face Spaces. So pasting it here in Python and clicking Summit. Now it's generating me the response, copying the code and testing it here. And that is a pass. Next, Python hard challenge, finding domain name from DNS pointer. So copying the instruction, I'm going to test it here again. And here is the code, I'm just copying it and testing it here. Seems like an invalid syntax error. So going to try again. And here's the fix, copying it. Seems like it gave me the same answer. I can see the syntax error is because it's using the latest Python version. So I'm going to say, try Python 3.5. So this wasn't able to identify the Python environment based on the error message. So now it gave me the format for the older Python version. So I'm going to copy this and check it here. That is a pass. So I would say this answer is average because I had to prompt it. It wasn't able to identify from the error message what was the actual Python version. So Python very hard challenge, identity matrix, copying the instruction, asking the large language model to create a function with identity matrix. So here, this time I'm going to mention Python version 3.5, just to make it quicker. And now it's generating me the answer, copying the answer, testing it here. That is a pass. Next, Python expert level challenge, Faraday sequence, asking the large language model to create a function to generate Faraday sequence in Python 3.5 version, copying the answer and testing it here. There's an error. So just copying the error message, pasting it here. Let's see if it's able to fix the error. So copying the code, testing it here. Still a fail. Seems like it went back to Python latest version. Give me code for Python 3.5 version. So going to test this again. That is a pass. So it's mainly an issue with the latest Python version and the old version. The system which I'm testing uses old version of Python. So if you are using latest version of Python, I think it should be able to fix all these issues. Going to try one more expert level challenge, least common multiple, asking the large language model to generate least common multiple function. Copying and pasting it here in Python 3.5 version. So this model is really good in latest Python version, which is actually what we need. So copying the code and testing it here. It's a fail. Let me try one final time. Pasting the error code here. So got the code here, just copying it and testing it here. That is a fail again. Overall, I'm impressed with the coding considering it is open source. Next, we are going to test its artifacts ability. 
So what is artifacts? When we ask it to code, it should be able to show as a visual display. So here's the page for that. I'm going to say create a to-do list app where I can add and remove items. Clicking send. And now you can see it's automatically generating me the code. It's a normal HTML code. And based on that, it gave me this to-do list, which I can see I'm able to add list and I'm able to remove. So that is a quick example. Let's try one more example. Design an interface with purple button that says Mervin Prison Start. When the button is clicked, display a countdown from five in a very large font for five seconds. So let's try this. Clicking send. Now it's coding. So generally for artifacts, you can use HTML or also we can use JavaScript. But I can clearly see this is using HTML. So here is what we expected. Mervin Prison Start. So go and click it. And now five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. So yeah, this model has the ability to run in artifacts, which means we are able to integrate this with bolt.new. Finally, how to run this locally on your computer. Go to olama.com and download olama. Then you've got the command here. If you want to run the 7 billion parameter model, if you want 32 billion parameter model, this is the code to run. Just copy it, type this command in your terminal and then click enter. This will automatically download the model and then you are able to ask questions and use as a coding assistant. I'm really impressed with this, considering this is open source and also you are able to run this locally on your computer. But remember, to run 32 billion parameter model, you might need some high spec computer. Considering you already like this coding assistant, you might be interested in bolt.new, which you can run locally and create application end to end. So I'll put the link in here. So I highly recommend for you to watch and try this model with bolt.new and I will see you there.